In the last episode, I made my way from the coast to the Sierra Nevada mountains. With most of the climbing now complete, I was now inching towards my first new state in three weeks, Nevada. It is windy up here. Oh, so that is the big old climb in the Sierra Nevada's done. Hey, look at this, look how the landscape's changed. Yeah, just look at the change in landscape. So Nevada! It's the fifth state I've been to so far in the USA. Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, baby! Let's go! It's been a long time since I've had to come to a 7-Eleven just to perk my spirits. But look at this! <laughs> Pizza, donuts, lemon cake, biscuits, sweets, Fanta. These roads are pretty long and remote. This is what I wanted. <laughs> yes! Let's go, Nevada! Oh, it's been a long time since I've slept in a pavilion like this. Japan, that was the last time. I've got power in this pavilion. As you can see there, this pavilion has sockets and that is charging all my batteries, which is much appreciated. You'll appreciate the drone footage of these beautiful hills, these Nevada hills. Just over here, that, just there, that is a washroom toilet area. Super happy. Good morning. So this is where I ended up camping last night. I said I was gonna camp in like a little pavilion thing that's over there. But oh, I, I, was, I did camp in there till about two, three in the morning. And it all kicked off. <sighs> it was ridiculous. Sprinklers everywhere. I was just camping in my tent and it just, I, it, was, it was like I was in a flood. <laughs> Which is not what you want. So my tent got absolutely soaked. You see now there's little bits of ice. It was like sleeping in a in a freezer last night. <sighs> Ridiculously cold. Good side is though, got my power bank charged, got all my batteries charged. And we're ready to hit the road again. So let's do it. Look at this. Let's go, Nevada. It's so cold. Let's warm me up. This has to be the most beautiful setting I've cycled through so far. Look at this. Oh, yes. I just found it amazing how humans have carved out this road in this pretty rugged and rough terrain. Oh, it's so good. Quite difficult to see, but on the horizon that is a massive lake. I'm gonna camp by this lake tonight. I've cycled for 100 kilometers and I'm happy with that. Boom, Nevada! A 20 mile beach. This has been the first day in I think five, six days since I've had any sort of wash other than my hands. Yes, come on. <laughs> oh, that is cold. Oh. 
Well, after a great stay at this lake, it's now time to get back on the road. I also just did a live video. So if you'd like to see me live from Nevada and see my unedited hours worth of thoughts, go and watch the video in the link, top of the screen. Desert crossing isn't to be underestimated. It's tough as far as distance, heat, it's cold at night, and I need to pack enough food and water to be self-sufficient, which hopefully I am. Carrying five and a half liters with me, which hopefully will be enough. I know the next town is in 100 miles, so that should last me. The sun has just popped away. I'm glad I've just stopped to cook food to be honest. So then when I go and pitch a tent or find somewhere to sleep, I don't have to worry about cooking food. It's nice to do it when I've got a table. Let's get this chicken of the scene pasta cooked. Good morning. It is getting chilly now in oh, this tent. Last night I went, had to try to sleep with just no tent. Bad idea, I had to put the tent up. This is the view, I'm gonna spin you. I've woken up to today. Pickle sunrise over that mountain and I'm gonna keep going down that road. Last night I stood up far too late. England just beat New Zealand in the Rugby World Cup semi-final. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. As I was deliberating which way to go, either continue on the 95 or head towards California and Death Valley, I came across a man in the middle of the desert. It's a little spot, isn't it? I'm traveling that way. Well, are you, are you traveling bicycle, in? You got uh, a bicycle as well? You got a bicycle as well? Yes, but I have a trailer. Ah. And my trailer's giving me problems. All right, what's wrong with it? Well, I put some bigger wheels, uh, not this size. These are 26. Yeah, yeah. Mark had a really sad story that had led to him living on his bicycle as he travels the USA. He told me that his wife and son passed away seven years ago and that led him to sell everything and travel indefinitely. Mark is a strong Christian and he proudly displays his love for God and Jesus and he's made that his mission to spread the word of Christ as he cycles around the States. Mark's mission was different to mine, but it was lovely to meet someone who's living life on his own terms and is doing something positive after facing such trauma and adversity. I just stood here Deciding to go on the 95 or 360. And then I met Mark. What a good guy. I'm going to do it. Back to California. Bishop is this way. I could have gone straight on. Let's go to Death Valley. So, one thing I tried to ask Mark, but didn't really get to, is that subtle difference between me, who I define as a bike traveller, or bike tourer, somebody that has left everything, I don't own property, don't own anything, everything I own is on my bicycle. And then there's Mark, who's 35 years my senior, at 65 years old. No, 30, 34 years my senior, I'm getting older. And he lost everything, his wife, his child, They've all died, he said, and he wanted to travel, and he said he's addicted to the traveling. How is that guy, who on first glance looks like a homeless guy, how am, me, how am I different to him? I don't think I am. I think the guy's educated, he's not on drugs, he seems clean, he's got a love of religion, which is his driving 
force, different to me. My religion is people. It's what I believe in. I believe that 99% of people are good. And I feel that, that if I just uh, show you all these wonderful people in the world, it can hopefully spread that message that we are all here to do good. I just kind of think it's easy to quickly judge a guy who's old and is seemingly carrying what looks like a load of junk, but to him, he makes money selling a lot of that stuff and it's quite precious to him. Gold, rings and arrows and little toys and he had a couple of knives that he's buffing up into sell. How is that different to me creating videos? He's just using actual physical, he's using his own tools. So I think good on him. Well done Mark for doing your thing and doing it in your way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Riding through the Nevada desert was the most isolated I'd been since I was cycling through the remote roads in Canada. I'd been longing for the open road. Seeing wild burros galloping in the plains made me think back to the old western times when cowboys and bandits would have patrolled these highways. I've just got to a tiny little hamlet, top of this village, top of this mountain. Everything's closed. I desperately need some water. It's been abandoned a long time ago. Oh, for goodness sake. There's nothing here. Those look like unabandoned houses over there. There's no vehicles though. And that is not good. Montgomery Pass Maintenance Station. No services available. Let's see if they do water. Hello. Oh, you are lovely. Oh, you are nice, are huh? you? Yeah. Hello. Oh, you like that. Hello. Oh, you're getting jealous over there. Hello. Oh. You're not over <laughs> Hello. I bet you don't get many visitors up here. Oh, so this, uh, what I thought was an abandoned little spot at the top of the mountain, turns out to be pretty occupied. Oh, so happy. I'm not going to run out of water today. I was lucky to find somebody at the top of the maintenance station that filled up some water for me and I was back on the bike and rolling down the hill down towards California. I only entered Nevada about five days ago but I'm leaving already and I'm re-entering California and that is only temporarily. I will be re-entering Nevada shortly so a bit of zigzag in and out. Nevada, farewell. California, yeah, here I come, ladies. We've been on the run, dancing in the sun, looking up for number one. California, here I come, right back where I started from. Take me out to California. In the beautiful Take Eastern Sierra. California. California. Oh, this is amazing. You see this down here. Oh, some good news. So the sun starts to set. <sighs> I found myself a public library and the library's closed but I can use some Wi-Fi. The best thing is this. That is a power bank getting charged. And there is drone battery, GPS, GoPro. All the good stuff. I also had a little wash just out, just out of the tap. And now I'm going to cook myself some grub. 
Let's have some pasta.